All right, so once again, thanks everybody for being here today. Uh, we're really excited to introduce our newest GWN series Wi-Fi access point, the GWN 7630. This is the fourth Wi-Fi access point in the GWN series, um, which also includes uh, GWN Cloud, our free, uh, free Wi-Fi management and monitoring platform, which I'll tell you a little bit about later. Um, so again, we're here to really introduce you to here to the GWN 7630, the latest introduction into the GWN series of Wi-Fi access points. Uh, really the thing to remember about the GWN 7630 in comparison to all of our other access points, it is, it is the most high powered in terms of the MIMO support that it offers, which we'll go into a little bit later on. It basically has more antennas built into it it's got the 4x4x4 four by four by four MIMO, um, which again, I will explain in a little bit more detail what exactly that means uh, in a slide coming up soon. Um, our previous models are going to be either 2x2x2 two by two by two MU MIMO or 3x3x3. Three by three by three. Um, that number basically is just how many ten antennas are built into it. Um, and the MIMO technology allows those, those antennas to both send and receive signals at the same time. Uh, Again, we'll cover that a little bit more in depth in a second. Uh, the other thing that this slide does not specifically mention is it supports up to 2.33 gigabits per second, which is the uh, fastest uh, speeds that we support on any of the GWN series access points. Um, so to kind of give you wrap up that little introduction here, the 7630, it's a Wave 2 Wi-Fi access point, really ideal for small to medium-sized businesses, multiple floor offices, commercial locations, branch offices, et cetera. Uh, talked about the 4x4x4 MIMO, supports dual band Wi-Fi as the whole GWN line does. Um, gives you a uh, range for 175 meters, and as you'll see here on this next screen, which gives you more technical specs, support for up to 200 plus Wi-Fi client devices. Um, so this device is really ideal um, within our GWN series if you're looking to support the fastest possible speeds. That's what this device gives you the ability to do within the GWN series with support for the 2.33 gigs per second. So if you're deploying this, and we'll go through some deployment options later in an office, in a library, in a hotel, area where you have a lot of people around and you might want to offer pretty decent speeds, convention centers, this is a great option for you. It gives you the 2.3 gigabits per second. It's got the four built-in built -in antennas, which allow you to maximize the amount of, um, excuse me, the amount of signals the device can send back and forth. Just like our other GWN series devices, uh, PoE or PoE Plus to power on the device, uh, 200 plus concurrent Wi-Fi clients, 175 meter range, also just like the other GWN access points, has that advanced QoS built into it to ensure real-time performance of low latency applications. Also that advanced QoS is if you're going the route of in installing a voice over Wi-Fi or a Wi-Fi voice or a Bo Wi-Fi or whatever you might want to call that technology. Uh, this advanced QoS allows you to actually um, prioritize voice connections through uh, a GWN network, which we'll talk about later. It's got the same great security features as all the other GWN series access points. Um, what do I mean by that? Anti-hacking, secure boot, critical data lockdown uh, with digital signatures. Basically, the device is always keeping in touch with other layers of the device in terms of the software and the programming of it to make sure that none of those layers have been um, compromised or hacked into. And if any, if the device senses that at all, it will completely shut down um, to prevent further hacking. Gives you unique security certificates on every GWN series access point so that if you have the same um, or if you know, for example, other manufacturers will, will use the same predictable password. Um, I'm actually jumping ahead here to talk about the random default password. Um, the security certificate's the same. Basically, a lot of third-party other manufacturers will put the same security certificate, the same predictable password pattern on all of their access points, which makes them pretty easy to hack into or, or to get into, especially initially. Uh, we're putting a different security certificate and password on every GWN series device. Um, as you, I'm sure you've heard about in the past, one of the best things about this GWN series 
is the embedded controller which allows you to uh, provision, set up, manage Wi-Fi networks of other GWN series access points just with the user interface of any specific GWN series AP. The 7630 can support up to 50 local GWN series APs in that sense, set up, manage, uh, control entire networks of them just through the user interface. We also have our free GWN cloud, which allows you to scale to no limit, great wi free Wi-Fi management platform, which I'll talk about in a second. So we talked about the 4x4x4 the four by four by four MU multi-user MIMO. Um, you may have seen this mentioned in other places or by other manufacturers. I, I think it's always worth going to go in, in a little bit more detail to really explain what it actually means. Um, which I tried to do just a second ago, but basically what the, what the MIMO technology is, it'll, it means that each antenna or the, and the multiple antennas within the, the device um, is used to both send and receive data, whereas traditionally uh, the antennas within access points were pretty dedicated for either sending or receiving. Um, these devices, the GWN7630 has four different antennas built into it and each one of them, which is one more than any other GWN AP, when each one can both send and receive signals, um, which allows the device to offer the 2.33 gigabits per second speeds, the fastest speeds within the GWN series. And as you can see, um, because of the multiple antennas, there's also an improvement in wireless coverage. So it not only allows you to offer a lot of speeds, but to offer that 175 meter range with that great speed and those fast connections from the GWN7630. Um, if you, anyone has seen our other GWN series access points, the, the design of the device, um, pretty much identical you see in terms of the, the ports on the device. It's got your reset pin, USB port, you've got your network port, um, also a network and a PoE port. So it gives you the two, two excuse me, dual gigabit ports there. One of them en enabled for PoE and then your traditional power port. Um, in terms of the management options, we just touched on this a minute ago. Um, one of the greatest things about this GWN series access our GWN series of access points, excuse me, is its ability to actually set up, control, and manage entire networks of other Grandstream access points all from their own user interface. So basically, any of the GWN series access points have these integrated controller. The controller is just software built into the user interface that allows you to build out entire Wi-Fi networks, manage them, configure them, whatnot from the user interface of any GWN series access point. Um, what we have here is the 7630 allows you to support up to 50 local Grandstream uh, GWN series access points, build out networks with them, control them all from the user interface. Of the 7630, for example, for larger deployments um, or for deployments that might make up multiple sites, we have GWN Cloud, which is in my opinion, one of the best programs, one of the best platforms that we offer, GWN Cloud, which I'm actually going to move over to the next screen to talk a little bit about it. GWN Cloud is a free Wi-Fi management platform. It is specifically for Grandstream GWN series access points. But the best thing, the best thing about it is there, it is free, as you see here, and there is no limit on the amount of access points or the amount of sites that you can manage with this device. Um, so it truly can be scaled from a local Wi-Fi management platform to an inter international grade enterprise level Wi-Fi management platform. Um, allows you to set up, to deploy, to manage, to monitor, to be notified about, um, again, uh, endless amount of access points and Wi-Fi networks. This is great for businesses with multiple locations, great for resellers who might want to deploy networks for their customers and the customers want you to manage them centrally. Um, you can check it out at just gwn.cloud is the URL. Again, it is free with no limits on the amount of access points or sites that you can um, manage. With it is a fully functioning enterprise grade Wi-Fi management platform allows you to control everything that you're going to want to control about your Wi-Fi management platform. Actually has a mobile application which makes deploying these devices literally as easy as 
installing it, like physically putting the device where it's going to be, and, and scanning the barcode on the back with our grant, uh, with our GWN Cloud app, which allows you to add access points literally with a snap of a finger just by scanning that. So that's great for um, great for resellers, great for anyone who's doing a Wi-Fi deployment. So again, it's fully free. Check it out, gwn.cloud. There is no limit on the amount of access points or sites. It's a full enterprise grade um, Wi-Fi deployment management monitoring tool, which also has a uh, mobile app that pairs along with it. Um, just to kind of touch on this, because you know, there, there's, there's usually always questions that are come up about it. Um, our GWN series uh, does support mesh. It's one of the things that you know we've been holding some webinars and whatnot over the last couple of years. Um, does support mesh networks, which is obviously you know a really big um, networking, uh, popular networking. Um, what's the word that I want to use here? Uh, process or a popular type of network, there we go, that people are setting up, essentially allows all the devices to um, on the network to kind of work together, bounce signals off each other. It doesn't require, uh, you know, direct point from the access point back to the main router. Kind of allows the, the, the network of APs to work together and bounce signals around and basically find the fastest route to get to and from the main source of the network. Um, and when you compare this to using, there's a lot of, you know, companies out there that are promoting the use of network repeaters or little plug-in devices that you would um, feasib feasibly allow you to expand your network. Um, and, you know, Mesh offers quite a bit of uh, advantages to that. It allows you, as you can see, to actually build a much wider, uh, cover more area, and it extends the same network. Whereas with many companies, the network repeaters that you're going to get to try to expand your network, um, or even to try to expand a GWN series network, they're all going to have different speeds. They're going to support different ranges. They're not going to support the seamless roaming from access point to access point, as you can see, a little bit of a limited coverage. So I guess the main thing here is really just to point out, uh, once again, that our GWN series does have support for mesh networks. Um, and the really popular alternative to mesh networks are these uses of network repeaters or repeating devices. and you know, the building a mesh network with our GWN series access points, allowing them all to bounce off of each other to kind of share connections is a much more powerful option. Um, here's an example of a mesh network. This, there's multiple hierarchies of mesh. This is just showing the star network. And as you can see, all the, the APs or many of the APs on this star hierarchy uh, are working together, devices that can bounce signals, uh, to other access points or through other access points just to be able to route um, the connections out to the users and back to the network as fast as possible while also increasing network coverage. Um, beginning to wrap up here, one of the things that uh, we've been talking a lot about here at Grandstream is, the, is, and I talked about it earlier, either what you might call voice over Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi voice, or what I'm here going to call Unified communications over Wi-Fi, or any combination of those words. Essentially, um, you know, over the last five years or so, and especially with the advent of access points like the GWN series, um, we're able to get Wi-Fi speeds across the world as fast as wired connections. And, and one of the really popular things that, that we have seen a lot of within the last couple of years is offices uh, or similar biz places of business moving over to entirely wireless-based communication networks, not just for, you know, their, their Wi-Fi or their data network, but also for their voice network and their video network. And we allow you to do that. And we've had a lot of webinars in the past, and I'm sure we'll hold more in the, in the future, showing you how you can build these truly wireless business communication solutions with Grandstream using our GWN series of Wi-Fi access points and then building out a network of voice video endpoints um, or wireless endpoints here. Uh, for example, our, wi our cordless Wi-Fi IP phone, the WPA20. We have a variety of desktop IP phones now that support Wi-Fi, the GRP2614, all of our GXV series, um, Android video phones, 
And multiple versions of our GVC video conferencing devices also support Wi-Fi. As I mentioned earlier, you can use the advanced QoS built into our Wi-Fi access points to actually prioritize voice or to prioritize video or any other type of connection um, so that your, you know, really critical communications network isn't basically sharing time or being brought down by other, you know, data connections, somebody downloading a two gig file at their desk. Um, you can use our GWN series access points and QLS built into it to actually prioritize those types of communications our communication signals. So, you know, just always like to talk about this. I could go into a lot of detail. We've done whole webinars on it, but it's a really powerful option and we're seeing a lot of businesses do it around the world. Not just using Wi-Fi for traditional Wi-Fi means, but to actually run their entire offices or entire businesses communications network. All right, as I mentioned, beginning to wrap up here, just kind of wanted to show you an overview of what the entire GWN series of Wi-Fi access points look like. The 7630 has been added there to the left. We have, again, the 7630 gives you that 4x4x4 four by four by four MIMO, um, which is going to allow it to offer the fastest speed possible up to 2.33 gigs per second. You can look across the line. That's the by far, or not by far, but by a decent amount, the fastest speed supported within this line. The GWN 7600LR to the right of it, that is an outdoor weatherproof long range access point. Um, obviously, it can be used indoors as well if you need long range. That is the device that is ideal for you, gives you up to 300 meter range. Um, and then you go to the 7610, the 7610, and the 7600. Um, between those two devices, the uh, 7610 is, which was the first GWN series access point that we came out with. Um, that device is ideal, to, um, was kind of built to offer you faster speeds, up to 1.75 gigs per second, where the 7600 was built to support as many clients as possible, up to 450 clients. Um, so that's just a quick little rundown of the GWN series. Wi-Fi access points. The 7630, as I mentioned a couple of times here today, is really the new high-powered access point supports the fastest speeds within the GWN series. Uh, deployment scenarios, just a couple of them here to mention. Um, actually, I'm going to move through this slide because we got some more detail on deployment scenarios here. Um, again, the, really the key with what's so great about this 7630 is it allows you to offer fast speeds to a lot of users where that is critical. So let's mention retail, for example, um, where you have a lot of people in a smaller area and they're not just, you know, checking their emails. A lot of times retail stores now want to allow their customers to be able to browse their online shops and potentially download coupons from their, from their mobile apps and whatnot, um, which require pretty good signals to be able to do that. And that's what this device is so great for, it offers you up to 2.33 gigs per second, has those four antennas to maximize not just the amount of clients, but the, the, to really optimize that, um, those fast speeds um, from the 2.3 gigs per second going out to everyone. Office is the same type of thing. You have a lot of people within a small area who need access to fast connections because they are doing, you know, they're, they're doing their jobs. They're, um, they're attending video conferences. They're downloading and sending files back and forth. They're working on big presentations, um, join web meetings, whatnot. And that's, again, where the 7630 is a great option because it allows you to offer the fastest possible speeds to a lot of people within a small area. Um, a library, the same type of thing. I want to, we'll, we'll, call, we'll call this a library. I'm going to throw in a convention center, something along those lines. Again, where you need to be offer, you need to be able to offer faster speeds because it's not just basic web browsing or whatnot that's going on within these areas. It's downloading files and doing research and sending files, downloading things back and forth. Again, that's where the 7630 is ideal because of the 2.33 gigs per second that it offers. All right, whoops. Uh, last two slides here for you. Um, always like to end on trying to bring it back to our entire solution and trying to wrap up what we're talking about with other Grandstream products. Um, and here you go with this slide. This is 
you know, really showing you that with Grandstream Solutions, you can build out a not, you know, traditionally we've been known obviously for the voice side of things, but by combining our UCM series of IP PBXs and putting that network on a Wi-Fi network connected to our GWN series access points and integrating the GDF series of facility access devices with our upcoming GFC series of intercom speakers and devices, or intercom speakers, which actually might be new to some of you, but which will be announced within probably July, and also putting our cordless and desktop IP phones on those networks, whether they be Wi-Fi or not, you have the ability to build out a full voice video data mobility Wi-Fi facility access and intercom solution for any business with all Grandstream products. Again, by using the UCM series to kind of facilitate the whole network, linking that up with a network of GWN series Wi-Fi access points to support your wireless devices, while also obviously integrating GDSs and IP phones and um, intercom speakers and devices with the UCM allows you to build out a full wired and wireless voice, video, data, mobility, Wi-Fi, facility access, and intercom solution with all Grandstream products. All right, so before we wrap up here, just kind of want to give you a preview of the next new product that you're going to see from Grandstream, which does have some tie-in here because it does support Wi-Fi. Um, we're soon to release, the plan is on July 1st, next Monday, to officially release our GXV3380. This is our newest and most high-powered IP video phone for Android, uh, the, the highest end one that we've ever made. It runs on a completely new chipset. It has the biggest screen that we've ever offered on any of these devices. It's an 8-inch touchscreen, gives you 16 line support. It supports full 1080p video at 30 frame rates per second. Um, it has HDMI ports which allow you to uh, both, if you're joining a conference from this device or video call or whatnot, to actually connect your laptop, for example, and share that with the conference, whereas the HDMI output would allow you to basically turn this into a video conferencing device, great for smaller conference rooms, by having the video um, exported and shown on a big video screen or a big TV rather than this device sort of to show it on both. Um, so again, this is the highest powered Android video phone that we have ever created. 8-inch touchscreen, brand new, high powered chipset, support for full 1080p video at 30 frame rates per second and relevant to what we were talking about here today, built-in dual band Wi-Fi as all of our GXV series uh, IP video phones for Android have. So keep an eye out for that. Our current plan is to announce that next week. And with that, that wraps up the webinar here for today. I see I went a little bit longer than I had expected to, so my apologies, um, but lots of good stuff to cover here today. Really exciting new product. Also wanted to kind of cover some of the other uh, content within the GWN series, GWN Cloud, the controllers, um, and also kind of give you a preview of what's coming up. So that wraps up the content that I had here, uh, had planned here for today. I'm going to switch back over to the, um, you're going to see me pop up here on the screen to go through the question and answers or any, any questions or comments that came in. So I'll just bear with me here for a second as I do that. All right, you should see me popping back up here on screen in just a second. All right, oh, there we go. There we go. All right, so see some questions, comments that come in. I'm just going to go through these real fast. Feel the usually what I like to do. Um, is for most of the questions is just kind of read them out loud and answer them out loud because usually there's always somebody um, that has a question. 
One of the questions is the PoE extended on the second port. Yes, it is. Um, but again, just to, just as I showed you earlier, there are two gigabit ports. The right one, or I guess the left one, depending on which angle you look at it. The one that's actually labeled PoE is the one that supports PoE. Um, It does come with, like all the, our other GWN series access points, it does come with everything you need to mount it on a ceiling or on a side wall. Um, actually, the room that I'm in right now, there's a GWN series access point, kind of, I guess, where I was pointing. Um, and again, it does come with, and I'm looking at the, the mounting kit that it comes with, does come with the mounting kit in the box. This, the range of the 7630 was 175 meters. Um, is the QL, QOS for VoIP set by default? That is a good question. Uh, no, that is not. That is something that you would want to set up yourself um, to uh, basically enable. There are multiple, when you go into the user interface and play around with QOS, um, it enables you, let's see if I can remember this off the top of my head, to prioritize voice, video, applications, a um, couple other options as well, and also to kind of give a, you know, a, a prioritized level of all of those, um, and that's what you would do within the QoS. It's set by default to really prioritize traditional Wi-Fi traffic, um, applications, web browsing, file downloads, stuff like that. But using the QoS, you could go in and prioritize voice or video connections or anything similar. reading through some of these final questions here. It's a pretty good question, which honestly we'll try to follow up with in the email about um, just kind of the basics of building a mesh network. If we need, if you need to hardwire the APs first before you set it up, um, or if you can just scan the barcode and we'll add it automatically add it to the existing mesh network in place. My understanding uh, is this, what you said there, that uh, when you're setting these devices up, as soon as you add it to a network with scanning that barcode, if it's set up to be a mesh network, it will automatically be configured to be a mesh network. However, I will look into that and verify that, and we'll include that in the follow-up email that goes out today. Um, the GWN7630 and all other Grandstream Wi-Fi access points will all work together and they will all work with any other Grandstream Wi-Fi endpoint. Um, so the, the example there would be, for example, the controller that works together, that is built in or building a mesh network. Um, you can combine any of the GWN series access points on those um, and any of those access points will work with any of our own Wi-Fi um, endpoints, the WPA20, any of our video phones, the GRPs that support Wi-Fi, obviously any other Wi-Fi client device as well, um, IP phones, computers, excuse me, um, mobile phones, computers, whatnot. Question about, it's a good question, is there a difference in AP performance if powered by PoE plus or by PO, the regular version of Power Over Ethernet? My understanding is no, that it would be the same, you'd get the same performance, the same range, the same speeds, uh, the, no matter whether you use PoE or PoE plus to, to run the device. Question about um, some potential updates to GW on cloud or some additional features. Um, I'll give you, I guess, a, a pretty general answer on that. The, we're always, for any of our active products, where there, there are development teams that are specifically paired up with each product and this, are, so for example, our cloud team working with GW on cloud. And we're always in the process of um, continuing to look for new features to add, to integrate that with new platforms and new services. There's actually quite a bit that we're working on right now on the cloud side of things, not just with GWN Cloud, but with other 
couple other potential new cloud platforms that you're going to see from us in the past. So there is some development going on, um, looking to not only add, you know, as we go, like many of you have seen with our other products, especially the UCM series, um, looking to add some features and functionalities to that, especially integration with other potential cloud platforms. So keep an eye out for that um, within the next six to 12 months or so um, for some, some bigger news on some other cloud platforms we're looking at, um, which will add some features and some functionalities to GWN Cloud. All right, if you have any further questions, feel free to send them over. Um, it looks like I've gone through the majority of them. There are a couple of here, these that I'll follow up individually with everyone or with you if you ask, ask the question through the chat or through the Q&A. Um, so feel free to send over any other questions that you have. I'll hang around for a couple extra minutes, take anything else that, that comes in. Um, but for everybody else, that wraps up today's webinar. I want to thank you for taking some time out of your busy schedule to learn a little bit about our newest GWN series Wi-Fi access point, the GWN 7630. Um, keep an eye out for next week, the release of our new GXV3380 8-inch um, uh, Android IP video phone. Also, within, within July, you're going to see the release of our GSC series of SIP intercom uh, speakers. There's one device, the 3510, that's a speaker and microphone, and then there's another device that's just an intercom speaker. Um, those have been in a, uh, going through our beta club for a while, so we're getting ready to announce those, so keep an eye out for that. Those are the next two new things you'll see from us. And yeah, so for, um, so yeah, again, once again, that wraps up today's webinar. Thanks for being with us here today. I'll hang around and answer any final questions through the chat. Uh, for everybody else, keep an eye out for an email with the recording of this webinar. Um, and we hope to see you again soon at another GrantStream webinar. Uh, hope you enjoy. Um, I know many of us are, are getting ready or for many regions of the world, getting ready for vacation or for the summer. So if it's summertime for you, enjoy the summertime. Um, and if it's not summertime for you, um, I guess uh, enjoy the next couple of weeks. We'll see you again soon. Take care.